Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are going to be putting on a series that is going to be a master class in every single ability. It's going to be split up in a couple of different videos. But first, we're going to be covering a very, very fun ability, and that is his Death's Hand. If you did not know, it's about a 40% scaling, and it goes up to a 96% scaling, dependent on how many bolts are hitting the target. Now, there is an absolute optimal range that you really, really need to get used to, and then this is just going to make you so much of a better swing once you get a good understanding of the range that you want to be maintained when you are playing Swain. Now, as you can see here, we are going to throw out a cue on these targets and we I want you guys to watch the total number damage that is going to be displayed on the screen. As you can see here, so the total, the maximum amount that you're going to do at this item breakpoint is 577, 440, 455, which is a one, uh, two bolts hitting, and then 384 is about just one bolt hitting the enemy target. So, as you can see here, I'm going to step a little bit closer to the target, and it is going to be the same exact damage as the 577 with the burn, it's gonna add up to 577. So this is pretty much the optimal spacing where you're pretty much out of the enemy's melee range if they're a melee champion, unless they're maybe, uh, what, like a lethal tempoed Aurelia might be able to hit you with a melee attack from here. But besides that, this is the range that you wanna be maintaining on the enemy target. If they run backwards, you want to run forwards. If they run forwards, you want to run backwards and kite them out in this really, really nice range where you're able to minimize the amount of melee attacks that are being put on you so this is going to be the optimal range you can go into the practice tool i want you guys to check it out because it's going to be very important to understand this range to maximize your punishment on enemy champions and just really burn this range into your head it's about two or three timos away from the uh, target dummy and that will wrap up the first tip for swain's Q. So the second thing I want to talk about with Swain and his Q, it is a very common thing that a lot of people are just trying to run and get on top of as many targets as possible when playing Swain. However, this can leave you extremely vulnerable. This can be an effective play style if you're playing something like a Rylize and you are you know that you're going to win the team fights and you're under minimal threat. You want to get on top of the targets, but if it is an even game state or you're a little bit behind, you want to maintain your Q maximum range and you want to be kiting people out when your cooldowns are not there for you. So we say we throw out a QEW, you want to be utilizing the W to create space to maintain that maximum Q range where you are not taking melee damage as well as hitting them with the maximum amount of damage coming out of your Q. So if you guys can just get really used to um, orb blocking as Swain, it is going to be a more efficient way of playing Swain as opposed to just being on top of the enemies, standing still and getting hit by more auto attacks. So you want to think about Swain a little bit more on the lines of a ADC. That's why I see a lot of people starting to use Ghost Swain because it is very effective um, to essentially use um, Swain's kit of a root, a slow, and a Q to heavily punish the enemy champions while maintaining the perfect amount of range to hit the maximum damage Qs and really kite and frustrate the enemy champions. And that will wrap up my second point about Death's Hand. So the next thing I want to talk about is relatively simple. I think that everyone should know this about Swain is that you can easily do a Q flash on the enemy targets. As you can see here, we are gonna throw, we are gonna put up our Q and then flash in for the maximum amount of damage. This is a great way of executing and is a little bit of a flashy play. As you know, you cannot do a E flash. It is still launched from your original spot, but however, with the Q's channel time, a Q flash is working. So making sure that you have a good understanding, first of all, of the range and where you need to flash into the enemy targets to get the maximum amount of damage coming out of your Q is going to be extremely important. So just go into the practice tool. If you aren't used to the Q flash, it is a valuable tool that every Swain main should know. And that will wrap up this tip for Swain's Q. All right, and the next thing I want to talk about with Swain's Q, it is extremely vital that you understand that the Q is an extremely short cooldown that you do not always have to be throwing it out at the perfect range, If particularly if you have on hit a speed. Uh, effects like Demonic Embrace, Leandres, or Rylize, you, if you are under heavy threat by the enemy champions, maybe there's a dive threat on the enemy team, and you don't want to get into the maximum range, the short cooldown is very, very nice. However, at level 1 of the Q, it is a bit of a longer cooldown. It, go, it gets cut down by to about... 
um, what, 33% of its original cooldown. So its lower level Qs are when you really need to focus on maximizing its damage output in all ends. But when you are at a higher range and you are just looking to kite people out and just maybe stack up your conquer or apply a lot of on-hit effects or maybe peel for your allies, using your Q in different situations and understanding the optimal time to use it and what is called for in the situation that you're in is going to take a little bit of game knowledge but if you're starting to understand hey i need to be watching when i'm using my Q and what the optimal time is it's going to raise your skill ceiling and hopefully help you out in the long run the next thing i want to talk about with the death's hand Q and maximizing the damage and output about it is using your the rest of your kit to get those very large Q damages particularly on those squishy targets targets. Doing a W a lot of the time is going to zone enemy targets that are really going to um, struggle with that. The enemy doesn't really, a lot of people that don't play swing don't really understand that the Q is the majority of your damage. A lot of people think that a lot of damage is coming out of the EW and passive, but your Q is really on such a short cooldown and can just do such a tremendous amount of damage. So using your E and your W to zone targets into a zone in which you can maximize your Q is a great way of making sure that you are getting a lot of damage on the enemy target. So having a good understanding of that is going to help out. Now, if you guys have any questions for me, if you have your own tips about Swain's Q, please let me know. This is kind of um, the uh, first swing at um, the masterclass on the particular ability. I'm probably going to be doing a revision of it as more things come up, as maybe more tips. I come up with more tips for the item but or for the ability. Um, please let me know. And I will also be releasing a video on the W, E, and R and everything I know about those to help you guys out in the different situations where you are playing Swain. So keep those tips in mind. And um, if you enjoyed the video, if I'm helping you guys out, please subscribe. Uh, it's really surprised that uh, the channel's growing so quick. We already had about 268 subscribers, and it's already yeah, doing at about half the views as uh, my main Lil Fit channel. So it's really exciting. I'm really happy to see that you guys are enjoying the content. And as always, take it easy.